the Glen Gap guest house, multi award winning B&B, Dundalk County Loud, a little piece of countryside in the heart of the town. The Glen Gap guest house, sponsors of BRTV's music show. Welcome to the music show on Border Region TV. I'm your host Helena Mullins and in with us in studio we have the lovely Nadine Weldon. Well thanks so much for joining us Nadine. Thanks very much. Good good and uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, how you started out with uh, this lovely guitar beside you. Um, well I actually started out um, about two years ago um, and I always kind of sang. Um, the, pa the past few years I've always sang and been really into music but I never really seemed to pick up any instruments. But um, yeah, two years ago when I was in transition year, um, I just decided I'd pick up the guitar one day, and then since then I've just just kept at it and kept jamming yeah. away, and it just came to it you. Just came. Was it easy for you or no? Like some some days you'd wanna you'd wanna throw it just throw it away, like but I don't know you might go straight two weeks playing and really into it, and then you get bored of it, and a few months later, well not months later, a few weeks later, you just get back into it again and. Yeah, good mm. stuff, good stuff. And I know uh, recently you've kind of started writing. I know you do fantastic cover songs. I've seen some of them on YouTube, or I've heard some of them. But uh, you've actually recently started writing too. So tell us a little bit about how that evolved, maybe. Well, I started writing, I'd say, about maybe a year ago, just, just a few bits and pieces. Not exactly, like, I wouldn't say just, I don't know, full, full songs, but bits and pieces of things. And, like, I'd say I have about, I don't know, five or six songs wrote-ish and I don't know I'm just keep rooting away but I'm kind of doing cover songs now because I don't know it's more I'm more comfortable doing them at the minute before I I don't know I start singing those ones. Good stuff good stuff so um maybe you know you're in a very important year now with your leaving cert yeah. and things like that but you definitely had time to kind of get out there with your music you've been in on Dundalk FM recently enough yeah so tell us a little about your experience in uh, the first cut on Dundalk FM. Um, well, I was back in, was it early September, or I think it was late August, something like that. Stuff. And um, I just went in and I, I didn't really know what I was ex like to expect, but I listened to the show the week before to see what it was like. Um, and I just went in and it was basically, it was just fun, it was a bit of crack, like, and the lads just kind of put me at ease and um, it was just a fun interview and I sang one song, it was a bit more of an interview, they just kept like talking away, the, probably the usual, what they always do. And then I think I just sang one more song and it was just really fun, I enjoyed it. Very comfortable, you were at ease and yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> you know, just before Christmas there, we had uh, the 12, va 12 vans at Christmas, so tell us a little bit uh, how you got involved with that maybe. Um, well, Damien McKenna from the first cut asked me, asked me in and told me about it. Um, and told me that there was going to be yeah 12 bands playing or whatever and um i they were just playing in courtney's there and, yeah in um, courtney's yeah sorry it was great yeah i know you're fine in town in dundalk mm. so it was a good idea it was a good concept to kind of get all the yeah it was brilliant aspiring singer songwriters together so you sang a couple of covers there and really yeah and that would have been your first live gig i believe yeah that was the first one yeah and how did you find that uh, nervous but not it, it was kind of good nervous because everyone um, I kind of went one of the last I don't know I probably didn't uh, yeah I just went one of the last and the more and more people I saw um, singing I was kind of like whoa like they're, they're so good and um, I was kind of I, I wasn't expecting them to be so good yeah and that made me a little bit more nervous but as I like good nervous but then I just sang or whatever it was fun I, yeah good. it was really good and um, singing a cover too is great because everyone can kind of sing along yeah. and it's good and lively too and um, so like you know this is a really important year for you now probably after Christmas we might not hear an awful lot about you but um, you know where can we find out more about your music and check out those cover songs that you have up already well I have um, I have a Facebook page um, recently I just recently made it and if you search Nadine Weldon um, it'll come up and they have links to SoundCloud and just like posts that I'll put up in the next while. And hopefully I might have, like, I'll try to put up a song maybe 
at least once a month or just have more bits and pieces of brilliant brilliant and uh, you know after you're leaving cert now what uh, what would you like to do maybe come in summer or do you have any aspirations for tra- for your music career well I'm hoping to I'm hoping to do maybe a music course well a mixed music course maybe something else with it um, after I leave um, school and then I'm just hoping really to do bits and pieces gigging and what it, like whatever whatever I can get so hopefully doing a bit more Thanks. Good stuff. Uh, you mentioned that you started writing as well, and it's great. Uh, you know, within two years of learning the guitar, and then writing last year, which is great. Um, you know, tell us maybe who inspires you to write, or is there just, is it just come to you naturally, or is there any artists out there, past or present, that would influence that for you? Um, well, kind of for writing, it's it's basically just from I I know I'm young or whatever, but it's kind of just experiences, and I know people around you, and kind of just just what people are saying, and. I I like actor um actors, um singers like Regina Spector and Sarah Barry Ellis and just kind of any artist with like a bit of I don't know difference like unusual like yeah. any artists that are unusual or whatever I kind of like. They wouldn't be really mainstream. But, yeah, um, that's really interesting. So what are you going to sing for us today, Nadine? Uh, I'm going to sing "Girl Put Your Records On." Well, thanks so much for coming on the music show on Border Region TV, Nadine. It was lovely to have you. Thank you good stuff and uh, so do check Nadine Wilden out on Facebook and here we'll have Girl Put Your Record On a cover by Nadine Wilden I hope you enjoy touching the concrete Three little birds sat on my window and they told me I don't need to worry Summer came like cinnamon It's so sweet Little girls that were touching the concrete Boys And maybe sometimes Oh 
a little piece of countryside in the heart of the town. The Glen Gat Guest House, sponsors of BRTV's music show. Welcome back to the second half of the music show on Border Region TV and thanks so much to Nadine Weldon for her piece of music and the first half and interview. But in studio now we have Damien McKenna. So thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Damien. thanks for having me. Good Glad to be here. Good, good. And uh, so tell us a little bit about how uh, maybe your love of music began uh, or started out. Um, my earliest recollection is from, I was in the back of my dad's, I remember you driving a Corsa, because, you know, that's how we do. And uh, <laughs> He was playing, he had, he had one tape and on the A side was the Beatles Revolver and on the B side was John Lennon's Greatest Hits. Now the tape must have been stuck in the tape player or something because I remember hearing this for months on end, any time I was in the car. And I used to just think this was the greatest thing ever. And then I think I, I think I might have, I think I might have dug out his vinyls of nice. the Beatles Greatest Hits and just started listening to them. That's kind of where it all started from. Um, I and, and then the idea of bands and stuff all came from there, you know, yeah. Cool. And uh, what you were saying as well, um, you know, or tell you a little bit maybe your teens and that, you kind of got into music and playing and um, songwriting. Yeah, like like every, I suppose, working middle class chap at the time, I was big into the big bands at the time for me, who were Oasis, the Libertines. And from there you kind of progress through the annals of time and find out what else they all listen to and then you go and listen to that kind of stuff. So that, that started kind of happening maybe from 12, maybe 12, 13, you know, you know when you get to that age and you think, now I know what he's talking about or oh, I get what he's saying now in that song or I know, I know what that lyric means. So when you get to that kind of stage, you start listening a bit more. Um, the idea of bands never really became a concept until I was maybe 13 or 14 when um, I think it was just, with four local lads we were all in school together and it was just always it just a natural progression just join a band join a band it doesn't cool. happen enough these days and how did you find how did you find uh, the progression how long did you stay with that band itself um and do you remember the name at the time or? yeah the band was called ellipsis ellipsis yeah oh, nice. um it was myself shane stewart paddy cleary and john gray john was going to kill me now sorry john Gotcha. <laughs> um, and we were just we were just school kids. We were just school kids messing around. That was really it. Like you know what I mean? It was like what was the big song at the time? Well, we have to learn it. Do you know? What I mean? We learn that, and then you go and play gigs, and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. There was nothing really serious around it. I think we wrote maybe one or two songs. They were absolutely god awful, but you kind of get over it and you you move on. So, well, um, tell us a little bit about maybe uh, Echo Road Records and your involvement with that. Yeah, so Echo Road Records, and you had David on here. Yeah. Before me, but sure, it's all right, we'll let you wear that <laughs> one. Or you could have the two of us on together, I don't really mind. I cramp his style, though, you see, that's what it is. That's it. Um, I, oh, Dave. Dave, yeah, Dave was in Liverpool and he came back. Did Dave tell you he was in Liverpool? Yeah, he did. He yeah. told me all about the gig and he did over there. It was pretty good. Did he? Yeah, he seems to tell a lot of people that. <laughs> But um, he came back from Liverpool and like, well, but I think if David would probably correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think he, he fell in love with a band called The Laz. A lot of That's people know The yeah. Laz. And he went to Liverpool to, obviously because he was inspired by these people. He went over there. When he came back, he was like, you know, he was just, he, I could just see it in his eyes. He was he was hungry to do something. And he was ashamed really like this. Well, not ashamed, he was just upset that the North music scene was, was as it was. Um, not that it was a bad thing, like there was stuff happening, but it just wasn't the way it was in Liverpool. And in Liverpool, everyone was helping each other out. He was saying it was stuff like bands would go and see a band on a Tuesday night, and the band on the Tuesday night would then bring them and their fans to the band that came to see them on the Wednesday night. Brilliant. And it was just all this kind of stuff. And I think Dave, again, he he probably tell his story better himself. He, he kind of fell in love with the, the scene and the people. Um, likes of Chris Parks and people like that to write blogs um, and he met a lot of his idols and you know so he loved all that kind of thing when he came back he had this idea and I said yeah well let's run with it like let's do this let's put on gigs I was explaining to him about rip off promotions because my uncle was involved with them um, and a few other local men from the dog um, they're all in the 50s and 40s and 50s now maybe mm -hmm. um, so the idea was based up around that we were going to put gigs on from the local bands we were going to create the music scene 
and initially the idea was that bands wouldn't have to go to Dublin and play gigs they can play them in their own doorstep because there's tons of venues around that just weren't being utilised and you Brilliant. know but it wasn't just Echo Road Records like everyone else is, is, is getting involved and it's the same vibe and as I said to you there is something happening something stirring at the minute so there definitely is there's some great talent and we had some on board of EGTV already and there's plenty more to come on yeah. yourself too it's great and it's great to see this because you know the likes of yourselves doing Border Region TV is fantastic because there's another outlet and That's a lot it. of stuff's going online at the minute you know so anything any outlet you have if you're a band and you have any outlet just get on it tell us a little bit about um, the 12 bands of Christmas that you organised yourself the 12 bands of Christmas yeah that was a part of the first cut and Echo Road Records um, and the first cut would be Dundalk FM Dundalk like FM yeah so it's local music again and I think uh the local radio station yeah. they have like loads of bands and talent in so that's a great pool yes. for Echo Road Records oh yeah to, fantastic and to promote that we get bands on all the time like and but Echo Road Records we decided we were saying we put on a gate for Christmas well we did we we got this offer to play in Corny's or to run a, a showcase in Corny's and we were like we will trial this place and um, that's a really good place yeah for we gigs. were like oh, it's just it just started off where Dave was like oh we'll we'll have such and such and such and I was like yeah okay and then it was like well, this and this and I said like, what if we get this and this and then at one stage we had like six acts and we were doing the first cut we were live on the first cut and um, someone so you're just brainstorming on the first cut live, live on, on air, air. And it's, it's like the greatest show on the airwaves. <laughs> if you haven't That's heard it, yeah, check tune it in to Dock FM 100. Yeah. And the snowballs started gathering. Yeah, then someone said, as I, I was like, because I said to Dave, and it's all free. And I was like, nine or ten acts. And he was like, yeah, and it's all free. And I was like, That's unbelievable, it's all free. And Brilliant. Then I think whoever was doing the desk, I think it might have been Shane Tippins, was like, Oh, it's like the 12 pubs of Christmas or something. And I was like, Yeah, it was like the 12 acts of Christmas. And then it's just like light bulbs. Right, like, this is it. happening. That's what we're calling it. And um, I hear it went down the street. It was very, very brilliant. Uh, Courtney's going to do enough for us. Uh, Finney and Callor was outstanding with the gear all night. He played himself. Great, great song lineup. Right? Great guitarist. Great singer. Brilliant. Um, and we just we tons of people. I'd say the majority of people you've had in the show already played. Yeah, um, there was lots. Um, and the thing is as well, uh, where can we find it more? Do you know bands out there or bands that are coming on the show? We want to tell them about Echo Road Records. Do some networking with you guys. Facebook, um, as everything else, Echo Road Records. Um, Twitter, at Echo Road Records. Um, yeah. I'm sure you can go to David, David Keenan. Also maybe send the music in. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. oh, even just Echo Road Records at gmail.com. Email, email us the music, like, you know. Or even, cool. even just email us the link to our SoundCloud. And we'll put it up on our SoundCloud as well. And let people hear it that way as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about this song you're going to sing for us now. Right, well, the, sort of, the idea behind the song is that uh, there was a house party in somewhere in the dock, um, which ended in carnage, and um, I think it ended up just being like a fist fight in the street when people broke breaking glasses and stuff. But it, like, f from my opinion, it was like it seemed like the oppression of the working man or something, um, sort of thing. You know, I don't know. It kind of has a bit of a car brat vibe from the Libertines. I was reading his book at the time. Okay. Who knows? It took me a long time to finish it. That's why he hasn't got a name yet. Well, that's great, Demo. I look forward to hearing your original now. Um, yeah, it's uh, well. If, if it's probably, I had a name for it. It was a working title, and it probably will stick with it. It's called Broken Glass and Glad Rags. So Broken Glass and Glad Rags. For the time we've been has a ring. That. Yeah, but I don't even like it. <laughs> sure, we'll roll with that now. Why not? Um, Broken Glass and Glad Rags by Damien McKenna on Border Region TV. I hope you enjoy. Fill up 
up a cup, put on bad rags and sweep. Don't change, never change the song that's been playing to your John, your Coke and your wine. to you and all of your kind It was all song and dance about an hour ago Conversations and patience then throwing were all in so And there's nothing for you to do If they could only walk in your shoes it's always gonna be the same Just fill up a cup Put on black rags and swing The Glen Gap Guest House, multi award winning B&B, Dundalk County Loud, a little piece of countryside in the heart of the town. The Glen Gap Guest House, sponsors of BRTV's music show. <laughs>